If someone is out there considering doing the MA with us, apart from having the prerequisites in theology, the most important thing really is to be in a context. So to have some kind of pioneering experience, no matter how small that is, or maybe even aspirational, but some experience in a context of pioneering because you bring that with you to the classroom and that really makes your learning come alive. I guess overall my vision for the whole program I think is to infuse the church with greater creativity. I think that's something that's really challenged me because I see that God is just an amazing God of creativity. So what is pioneering? That is a good question because there's a whole spectrum. So pioneers don't just have to be the trendy 30-year-old somethings with earrings in their ears. We've had pioneers who are in their 60s. So I guess it's people who have an impetus to reach those who are outside of church, traditional church. So however that looks, I don't think there's any one single definition because obviously it's very dependent on context and the gifts and callings that people have. So we have a great cohort of students, current and past, a mix of lay and ordained. So we have more lay students than ordained. So we have people from all over. We have a guy that comes from Northern Ireland. He manages to fly in from Belfast. He's working on a very poor estate in Belfast. We have others who are working on housing estates. We have a woman who's working with mind, body, spirit, fear, steampunk. Uh, we have youth workers. We have an older man who's working in the Diocese of London. So we have a whole range. There are other MAs out there, but I think our absolute focus is the mission outreach side of it and that lens and all the experience that we bring having 200 years of cross-cultural mission. And the range of students that we attract, I think, is really interesting because they're all practitioners, so people are bringing their life experience to their studies. I think what we offer, maybe in contrast to other programs, is this cross-cultural lens and this outward-looking impetus to always be reaching out, looking to the marginalised, the little ones, the ones in whom Jesus was most interested, I think and um, be going beyond the boundaries of where church has been to see where Jesus is, how Jesus can be introduced into some of those contexts. The link with Durham is really important because it is the top university for theological research. It was ranked number one in the UK. It's also important because they offer small seed grants for research. So for example, at the moment we're doing some research a project called Creative Conversations. We've got two people in their contexts creating conversations around the area of marginalisation. We've also applied for some funding to research African migrant Christianity, because migration, a huge theme at the moment. Um, what do migrants bring to the church in Britain and what can we learn from one another? So research, of course, is very important because it generates new ideas, new ways of thinking, and that's really important for, for pioneering in the landscape. Well, students say that um, it increases their confidence levels, that they have a theological language and grammar now with which to articulate what they're doing, because sometimes some parts of church don't really understand what pioneering's about. I think one of the most important things that people get out of the MA is the learning community. I think people's imagination and creativity is challenged and enlarged, because there's just such a, a buzz in the classroom, you bounce off new ideas, there's plenty of opportunity to try out new ideas, to suggest new ideas. You know, as I said, everyone has something to bring to the table and it's amazing what, how creativity grows when you're together, when there's lots of heat and energy in the room. So I think the main thing is expanding of the imagination, of ideas, of new readings and the new relationships and friendships that people form that keeps them going for life, I think.